So. Hello. Uh, my first question is to please introduce yourself and uh, describe briefly the, the project you are presenting here at this Euro Project Conference. My name is Liz Sace. I'm from Disability Rights UK. We're led completely by people with personal experience of disability. And um, the project I'm presenting is called Disabled People Leading Career Development. And um, basically, we did a survey of many disabled people who were in, in, in careers, in successful careers. And they then shared their experiences and what had worked for them with others. And we have a network now of 300 disabled people in senior roles called radiate uh, and also we've produced a guide called doing careers differently which is all based on learning from success so rather than just focusing on barriers it's really learning from what has worked well so that we can spread what works well and it's all led by disabled people completely led by disabled people and um, the the um, the guide has gone out to many thousands of people online. Um, I'll make sure there's a link on the, on the Zero Project website. Um, and uh, it's proved really successful, and we would like to spread that across UK and to other countries as well. Uh, so uh, what are the three main reasons uh, you think that makes this project so successful? Um, I think this project is successful because it is completely led by people with every kind of disability, mental health issues, learning disabilities, physical sensory impairments. Um, so it comes from disabled people's own experience. Uh, secondly, it starts with what works well. Usually when we look at employment, we look at what are the barriers, what are the problems, how do we overcome them. This looks at when it works and people can have a successful career, what has gone well and how can we make that true for more people. And that inspires people to get involved and it shows what can be done, it gives a vision. And I think the third thing is it doesn't just focus on getting a job, it focuses on having a career. So it's about how you develop once you're in the job as well. Um, so there's something to aim for, it gives people more hope and aspiration. Uh, and it says disabled people, like everyone else, have a right to a decent job, a decent career, not just any job. Um, do you think uh, for implementation on a global or international scale, uh, are there any obstacles you, you, you see? Um, I think this work was all led by an organization led by disabled people. And um, many of those organizations in different countries don't have a great deal of funding. So I think it would be good to, to show what this can achieve and then put some more investment in it. Because... With the leadership of disabled people, it really provides role models and it shows what can be done. And it might be more successful than some of the programs that are just um, services to disabled people. So I think there's an obstacle that these, these organizations aren't the ones necessarily that have the investment. Um, I think also there's uh, an obstacle that... In many countries, there are very big contracts, certainly in the UK, with companies that provide back-to-work support. Uh, and um, this kind of work that we've done, led by disabled people, doesn't always form part of that kind of service. So it's a little bit on the edge, and we think it should move from the edge more into the, the heart of employment services to support people to get into employment, but also to progress in employment and to stay in employment. Uh, my last question is um, about your, your perceptions of the Zero Project Conference. What, what is your uh, take and uh, what would be your wish for the future? I think what's great about the Zero Project Conference is that it's really systematically looked at. What are the policies that could be good, that could be spread? What are the good practices? So it's more organized in the, the way it's approached the material than many conferences are. And I think that gives us much more to go on. I'm going to go back to UK and say, if they can improve retention in Sweden, why can't we do it in the UK? And so on. And I think, I hope many people will go back to their countries and do the same thing.